Well, some big changes are coming to Toronto Pearson as the airport looks to adapt services to our new pandemic reality. For more, I'm joined by GTAA President and CEO Deborah Flint to discuss this healthy airports program that they have just launched. Good morning to you, Deborah. Good morning, Melanie. I should note, thank you. yeah, thank you for joining us here. Uh, I should note that you just joined on as president and CEO in February, so quite a handful and quite a time to be joining. Um, jumping into this role, no doubt, this industry, a lot of changes need to be made. So let's first begin with what we're looking at, the Healthy Airports Program, and a lot of the details have been released. Uh, things like temperature checks and uh, robotic cleaners, a lot of seeming very futuristic, let's say, but things that are needed to be done. What did you look at when it came to creating this program? So this is something that's been underway for many, many months. Uh, it's in our DNA at Toronto Pearson as the best airport in North America, three years in the running, uh, to think about what the future state would be early in the pandemic. Uh, so many months ago, we realized we'd have to fully change the operational processes and practices to meet a new expectation of our passengers for a healthy, high-quality, hygiene-focused uh, airport. And we've done just that. Uh, there are fundamentals in place like mandatory mask wearing uh, by all passengers and employees, um, as well as uh, their, the airport's uh, terminals are limited to only uh, passengers as well as working employees. That allows us to socially distance. Uh, we have modeled every footprint and journey point uh, throughout the airport to ensure social distancing. Uh, we're using overhead camera technology to identify whether there are going to be congestion points. Major foggers uh, that are being used to disinfect uh, large areas. Uh, as well as partnering with an industrial hygienist uh, who has uh, mandated, dictated for us, uh, best-in-class cleaning standards uh, with a high level of quality assurance. Uh, from the Thank you. So just many, many tools, at least 20 different practices have been put in place uh, as we prepared for the new expectation of our passengers. So in theory, they all sound great, but a lot of questions that passengers are having, a lot of reaction already online, one of them being privacy uh, with possible data collection. What can you tell our viewers when it comes to collection of data and being able to track potential virus? You know, they, there are many tools that we've employed that allow for more touchless, for more biometric, uh, it's contactless, that speeds up processes. Uh, it allows people to go through the airport journey without having to touch uh, different facilities that they would have in the past. But these are optional. Uh, people have the opportunity, whether to drive their car in using license plate recognition or their phone for payment, or they can use our traditional payment methods as well, which are still very available. Um, so our focus is, is to give passengers the choice, uh, but to certainly enable a touch-free and contactless journey as well. I want to get your thoughts on this. The, the industry, obviously, what happened with 9-11, things changed forever. Um, do you foresee a lot of these implementations sticking around for some time? Uh, I do. Our focus has been on the fact that even the day, that glorious day when COVID-19 pandemic is declared to no longer be a threat, uh, pandemic awareness, uh, communicable disease awareness is going to be lingering in our minds and across society for, for years, if not decades to come. Uh, so it is uh, just like 9-11, the way that we adjusted the industry uh, so dramatically for security, uh, we, will, we will adjust for pandemic uh, preparedness as well. Uh, technology will improve, will get better. Uh, we know that even with the, the today's management of COVID-19, we're learning so much more across society. And some of the practices we have in place today will be augmented, changed, maybe eliminated because of new practices and approach. We're nimble, we're ready, we're agile. We're working with the best-in-class organizations across the world to help set standards and also make sure that we are exceeding those standards as well. Okay, I'm, I'm sure we'll be chatting many more times in the near future. Deborah Flint, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.